Hello all you Conan Exile fans out there. This is Granny Gamester here with Conan Exiles, a beginner's guide, and I am playing single player on the PlayStation 4. And in today's guide, I'm going to talk about the Tinker's Bench and why it's important to get this as early as you can in the game. So let's take a look at how you can get this. So you want to go into your feats and you want to scroll over to Survivalist and then scroll down until you get to your Apprentice Tinker. Now, as you can see, you can get simple armor patch kit, simple weapon repair kit, and the Tinker's Bench at level 12. But the problem is you can only repair weapons and armor this early in the game. But if you scroll over to your weapons and then scroll down to the bottom, you will see Apprentice Weaponsmith. And this very first one teaches you how to uh, increase the damage of your weapons and etc. etc. which is the same with tools. So this is a very important one. And then if you scroll over one more to your armor and scroll down to Apprentice Armor Smith and click on that, you will see that you can add to your armor. So we're going to go over some of these in the Tinker's Bench. See what they require. Now the first one up is Armor Reduction Kit. Now this is great. If early in the game, like right now, I can build the heavy pauldron uh, armor set, but it's very heavy for me to carry. So this is fantastic for that because all you have to do is apply it to your armor and it will reduce the weight of it. Yeah, excellent. So you can wear heavy armor. Then uh, there's the pairing blade, and this is a kit that's used to reduce the weight of a weapon. So same as the armor, if you have a weapon that's really heavy, but you really like it, and it does a lot of damage, but it's too heavy for you to carry, uh, then go ahead and put this on it, and it will reduce the weight of it. Then we have simple armor flexibility kit, and what this does is give you better agility while you're uh, wearing this armor, uh, especially heavy armor. And then we have Simple Armor Patch Kit. This repairs a simple armor. And then we have the Simple Blunted Weapon Fitting. Now this is for your concussive, which is your truncheons. So if you apply this to your truncheon, it will increase the concussive damage that it will do. And then we have the Simple Reinforcement Kit. Um, now this can be used to make a weapons and armor more durable, but I use it for my shield. Um, I want my shield to be very durable. And the reason that uh, I don't use this much on my other um, items like the armor and the weapon is because you can only apply one of these uh, improvements to your armor or weapon at a time. That's it. So if I apply the armor reduction kit to my armor, I can't apply this as well. So I would choose the armor reduction kit over the simple reinforcement kit. Now the next one is your simple tool upgrade. So this upgrades all your tools. So say you got, um, let's see, eight pieces of wood with every hit with your ax. If you apply this to your ax, it will increase it to nine. This is early game, so these do not increase that much in the very beginning, but every little bit helps in my opinion. So the next one is a simple weapon damage kit. Now this is my fave. This adds to the damage that your weapon will do. But as you can see, it takes oil uh, to make. And this early in the game, you cannot craft the fluid press, which is where you get oil from. So let's look into our feats here. I'm going to go over to survivalist. I'm going to go down to primitive cook and if we scroll over we'll see we can't get the, the fluid pressed until level 28. And the fluid press if you put seeds in it and for every 15 seeds you get one oil and then the, for every exotic fish you get one oil and then I think it's five uh, of the next fish you get one oil. Yeah. And that's usually how you go about getting oil. But the beauty about being in Superma Road, as you can see, is I do have oil, is that I go around looting all the chests in Superma Road and voila, free oil 
yeah, early in the game. So I could actually do this a lot earlier than I am uh, because of Supermaru, the advantages of, of moving close to here. And even making the heavy armor, the heavy paladin armor takes thick hide. But Duke and I did a raid on all the chests. And as you can see, in one trip around Supermaru, we got 302 thick hide or thick leather. And we got 155 bars, steel bars, and 118 glass. So yeah, it's well worth it to move up into this area. So like I said, those increase the damage on your weapon. Now I'll just show you my Blood Letters War Axe. It started out with a health damage of 17. And once I applied this um, upgrade, to it, it increased the damage to 19. Yeah, pretty sweet. But the only drawback is that uh, weapons and armor have to be fully repaired before you can apply these as well. So you have to look out for that. Uh, I would like to be able to apply these onto weapons that I have found, but I cannot repair them yet. But I like to give them to my thrall, but I can't upgrade them because I can't repair them. So, yeah. And then the simple repair, weapon repair kit uh, re repairs uh, damage to any weapons. But I wonder, you know, now that I look at this, let's do this and see if it will repair this Falcata that I've got for Duke. Now, I just thought of this. So let's test this and see. And if it does, uh, this is going to be awesome. So let's get into old Duke here. Let's grab his Felcata because this has a health damage of 29 on it. Yeah. So let's see if we can repair this. Oh, but now that I talk about it. Oh, this repair kit is too low a level for this weapon. Yeah, this is a pretty uh, high level weapon. <laughs> so we can't do that. But the nice thing about this weapon is that it's damaged and if I use it, I could possibly break it. But if I give it to my thrall, it will never lose its durability while he's using it. So that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. And then we have, last but not least, our thin armor plating. Now what this does is increases the strength of your armor. So right now I have uh, the, the middle um, Paladin armor set. So this is the medium cap and it had an armor value, I think of 24, something like that. And when I applied this, it increased it to 27, but it does not increase the weight of it. So that makes it pretty sweet. So if you are wearing a light armor, but you want better protection than a light armor can give you, then this is what you want to apply to your light armor. So yeah, this is by far one of the most important benches I think that you can make in the game early on. And again, I can't stress enough how important it is to move close to Supermaru when you want these materials early in the game and you can't make them yourself. You're not high enough level. You can get up here as early as level 20, sometimes even sooner, and you know, start this process. I like to get up here as early as I can and from level 20 to the all important level 30. Um, yeah, I will do this. I will, I will make the best armor and weapons. I will uh, work on my base, etc., etc. So yeah. Well, all right guys, if you found this helpful, please give me the big old like. And if you'd like to see more, just subscribe. And if you hit the little bell, you'll be notified when I post my next video. Well, all right guys, uh, yeah, until next time, GG out.